What's good y'all? Welcome back to another reaction on this channel. Now, in today's reaction, we're going to be checking out this video in which Dave Chappelle is coming out and revealing why the Hollywood elites wanted to take out Jamie Foxx in the first place, okay? Now, we know Dave Chappelle has been very honest and open about certain things that he has seen in the industry, but I really do find it interesting that the details of Jamie Foxx's medical condition has been hushed for the longest amount of time. Not only that, but I recently came across a video that exposed his own daughter, Corinne Fox, I believe her name is, for lying to press and lying to social media about the state that Jamie Foxx is actually in. So whenever I start seeing things being hidden or the information and the details start being manipulated, I automatically assume that they're just trying to cover something up, trying to hide the details, and it just gets a little weird. So we're about to hop into this video. Make sure you guys do leave a like down below and subscribe, but let's get into it, man. I'm up here doing something that nobody else in this business has the balls to do. I'm telling you something that you need to know. I'm trying to explain to you what you're seeing. You don't understand what you're seeing. Jamie Foxx allegedly had a meltdown on the London set of their highly anticipated film, Causing Chaos. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. Facts. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy, they're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. Dave Chappelle is once again exposing the entertainment industry, and he apparently believes that Hollywood elites want to destroy Jamie Foxx's career course, because bro. he refused to be controlled. Because this industry is a monster. It's been a whole month since Jamie Foxx was hospitalized following a mysterious medical complication, and we still don't know if he'll be able to make a full recovery. Multiple conspiracy we'll see, theories bro. have popped up online over the past few weeks, from people accusing Jamie of being on drugs to others saying someone tried to kill him. Well, Dave Chappelle also has a theory about this, and he reportedly thinks that Hollywood bosses are trying to ruin Jamie's career, the same way they tried it with him when he broke free from their control. This happened many, many times since, where someone would intimidate me or scare me and take something that I believe was mine. Ever since news broke last month that Jamie Foxx was hospitalized in Atlanta, there's been a lot of contradictory reports in the media about his condition. TMZ first claimed that Jamie's situation was so serious that his entire family flew in to be by his side. Is that back and forth stuff I'm it was bad. You about, bro? Bad enough that family members from out of the, outside of Atlanta, there were some in Atlanta, but family members from outside flew in and rushed to the hospital to be by his side. However, later that same day, Jamie's daughter Corinne shared a message on Instagram saying that Jamie was already on his way to recovery. But Corinne has now deleted this post, and multiple sources recently reported that Jamie's condition took a turn for the worse. A source exclusively told Radar Online that the situation was much more serious than initially reported, and that Jamie had to be resuscitated. He had to be revived. He is very lucky to be alive, the source said. And what's strange is that Jamie's family asked for privacy. However, over the past few weeks, multiple celebs started sharing tributes to Jamie on social media and giving updates on Jamie's condition. Just days before Radar Online reported that Jamie had to be revived, Nick Cannon told ET that Jamie was awake and alert. It's a beautiful thing. He's awake. He's he's uh, and you know they say he's alert, so we love it. All right, that's great. That is good. To that's hear. family. That's family right there. Kevin Hart also recently talked about Jamie's condition and claimed that Jamie is getting better. The dope thing is that he's getting better. I don't know the details. Uh, or the exact details as to what's going on. Sure, it's funny how nobody knows the details. <laughs> nobody knows. But to my knowledge, is there is a, a lot of progression in the world of better man. So, you know, my love, uh, synergy, energy goes out to him. However, Jamie's longtime friend, Charlie Mack, shared a different update, and he posted a message on Instagram asking God for a miracle and begging fans to pray for Jamie. Meanwhile, disturbing reports also popped up on social media that police visited Jamie in the hospital and that he told them that someone tried to kill him. All this has left fans wondering about the reality of Jamie's situation, and many of them think it's strange how the family asked for privacy, and yet all these celebs are constantly giving vague and contradictory updates about Jamie's condition. Very contradictory, bro. What's also unusual is that just one day after Charlie Mack begged fans to pray for Jamie and asked for a miracle, Jamie's official Instagram account shared a post that read, Appreciate all the love. Feeling blessed. However, fans thought the timing of this post was strange, and they expressed doubt that Jamie personally wrote this message. He didn't, bro. Besides that, news recently broke that Jamie had been replaced on multiple projects, leaving fans to wonder if this means he'll not be coming back to work anytime soon. Just days after Jamie was- Bro, it would be really unfortunate. Very sad and very unfortunate 
if we lose Jamie Foxx. <clears throat> very sad and very unfortunate. Hospitalized, the director of the upcoming comedy Back in Action replaced Jamie with his stunt double. And then last week, it was revealed that Jamie Already and his brother Quinn dude, had been replaced by Nick Cannon and Kelly Osbourne on the game show Beat Shazam. And this is why fans are now speculating that the industry is sabotaging Jamie's career on purpose. Already trying and to even clone him, bro. reports about someone trying to kill Jamie are false, fans are saying it's very possible that Hollywood bosses are using this situation to destroy Jamie's career. Now, you may be wondering, why would anyone want to ruin Jamie's career when he makes a lot of money for a lot of people? Well, Dave Chappelle might have an answer to this because he knows from first-hand experience what happens to Hollywood stars who refuse to play by the industry rules. Back in 2005, Dave suddenly left the production of Chappelle's show and fled to South Africa without telling anyone. And as soon as he left, the tabloids started speculating about his mental health and accused him of being a drug addict. However, Dave denied this and told Time Magazine at the time, I'm not crazy, I'm not smoking crack, I'm definitely stressed out. Dave also explained that there were things that overwhelmed him, but not in the way that people are saying. Meanwhile, news broke that a few months before he fled to Africa, Dave turned down a $50 million contract from Comedy Central. This news gave the tabloids more reason to call Dave crazy. However, when Dave returned from Africa the following year and appeared on The Oprah Show, he explained that he didn't turn down the money, but rather certain conditions that came with it. Everybody wants to know, why'd you walk away from $50 million? Well, I wasn't walking away from the money. Yeah. I was walking away from the circumstances uh -huh. that, that were coming with the newfound plateau. Yeah. It takes a while when you punch through uh, to adjust to the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Dave I love Dave Chappelle, bro. I gotta say, I have to pose it to make it known because we reacted to Dave Chappelle quite a few times and every single time we react to Dave Chappelle, bro, like he tries to be so politically correct with his words because he knows the type of control that these management teams and these executive elites, he knows the type of control that they have over him. He exposes it. He had an entire comedy set dedicated to exposing it. But at the same time, it's like, bro, if he says too much, he's going to be a victim, bro. He's going to be a victim. It's not crazy to walk away from $50 million, y'all. Understand that money is fake. A lot of people put so much value on money. Money does buy you the everyday things, necessities such as food, gas, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But fifty million, it's not, bro. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. They try to bribe these celebrities with dollar amounts, and it works. And every single time they get bribed with these dollar amounts, all of these celebrities always end up hooked on drugs, always end up depressed, always end up sad. They always end up in a negative mind space. You have to question that, bro. How can someone who just got offered $50 million avoid it and go to Africa? Think about that, bro. Think about why when these teenagers start getting money or people like Juice World overdose on drugs or people like Kanye West decide to just go. Like, think about that shit, bro. The money doesn't really have any value if your mindset is being compromised by people who control you. That's just the bottom line. Oprah that he had heard stories about what happens to celebrities when they sign a lucrative contract to get to that next level of fame. Yeah, bro. And also what can happen when celebs like Martin Lawrence say no to these contracts. Yeah. I've been in show business since I was 14. And uh, I've heard the stories mm -hmm. of what happens. And I've seen these kinds of things play out in front of me. Okay. When, I saw when you say you heard the stories, what do you mean? What stories? I mean, you see before, look, Mariah Carey made a $100 million deal. And three months later, she's all of a sudden mysteriously crazy. Or Martin Lawrence punches through and he's waving a gun on the street screaming, they're trying to kill me. Yeah. That same year, Dave also appeared on People Inside the Actors it, Studio. And he once again brought up Martin's infamous 1996 <clears throat> breakdown, claiming that the industry tried to paint Martin as crazy because he refused to be controlled by the sick Hollywood environment. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun Screaming, they are trying to kill me. Yeah. What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a hundred million dollar deal and take clothes off on TRL? It, a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. Ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person. So they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy, they're strong people. 
maybe the environment is a little sick. And during his recent stand-up show, crazy, Dave again bro. talked about corporate control Dave within Hollywood, be going crazy. calling the industry a monster Dave's and saying that crazy. no matter who you work for, you'll always be trapped. When I quit the show, all my friends would say, well, the f*** them, Dave. Why don't you just do Chappelle's show at another network? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And why doesn't a slave run from one plantation to another plantation because the master over there might be nicer? I've even thought about coming back and doing another Chappelle show. Well, but if I do, I can't call it Chappelle show because my name and likeness is being used by them in perpetuity throughout the universe. It's in the contract. Now, as for Jamie Foxx, reports recently emerged that Dave- My guy can't even use his own name for his own content. Imagine me not being able to attach my name to my own fucking channel, bro. That's the reason why I had to go over to Patreon for a little minute, bro. The, the same why. thing that happened to him, Martin Lawrence, Kanye, and many others is now happening to Jamie because he tried to take control of his career They're shortly all black. before his medical emergency. Interesting. See, back in 2020, Jamie finished working on his directorial debut, All Star Weekend, and the movie was supposed to come out in the summer of 2021. However, in August 2022, news broke that All Star Weekend was indefinitely shelved due to casting issues. However, this explanation didn't really make sense because by that point, the movie was already in post-production. But then Jamie hinted in an interview with Cinema Blend that someone was trying to block his movie because he had crossed some line with his jokes and refused to remove certain scenes from the movie. It's been tough with the lay of the land of comedy, Jamie said. We're trying to break open those sensitive corners where people go back to laughing again. Basically, it sounds like Jamie was trying to take more creative control over his career and he said no to some important people who then decided to block his movie. And based on what Dave Chappelle told us about the industry, it's very possible that these people are now trying to destroy Jamie's career and punish him for trying to break free from their control. One fan commented, they tried to mess up Kanye and destroy him. Kanye wasn't playing. They tried to mess up Dave Chappelle and say he was crazy. He also broke free. The whole situation is just odd. And another fan wrote, something has gone on for a very long time in Hollywood going all the way back to Sam Cooke, mysteriously unalived after putting together his own studio. So many outstanding artists are gone, but old crusty music and entertainment company executives creep around forever. Bro, listen, that's just the bottom line of the world that we live in, which is why I say being mindful, bro. That's all I, that's all I ever try to influence on this channel is a mindfulness, okay? Even take what I say or what we react to on this channel with a grain of salt. Don't take what I say as truth. Take Just take it with a level of mindfulness. Understand the situation that's going on. Try to think and ask provocative questions rather than just fall victim to what you're being told, realistically. But look, I'm going to end this video right here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.